The United Kingdom is a highly developed country with significant economic, political, scientific, and cultural clout in the international stage. Are there any more projects to be made in the future? What are these projects for? And how will it benefit the people? Well, all these questions will be answered as I show you the United Kingdom mega projects. So make sure to watch the video till the end to see the richest city in the world. But before anything else, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for us. Now, let's get started. Number 9. London Crossrail The London Crossrail, often known as the Elizabeth Line, is Europe's largest building project. It is a 100-kilometer train route that will run from Heathrow and Reading in the west to Abbey Wood and Shenfield in the east passing through 40 stations and 42 kilometers of new tunnels beneath central London. The new railway is expected to carry 200 million people per year, representing a 10% increase in rail capacity in central London. It will not only provide more regular and reliable train service for London's expanding population, but it will also contribute billions to the UK economy. In fact, according to Mayor Sadiq Khan, the Elizabeth Line will transform travel across London and the Southeast. I am delighted it is on track to open in the first half of 2022 in what will be a landmark moment for the capital. The Elizabeth Line will eventually carry passengers from Reading and Heathrow all the way through the West End and on Stratford and beyond. Hopefully, the latest amount of investment will bring Elizabeth closer to her goal of dominating the tube map. Let's cross our fingers that it meets the deadline. Number 8. Big City Plan This is the country's most ambitious and far-reaching development endeavor. The goal is to plan for the next 20 years of transition to establish a world-class city center. It's a vision to continue Birmingham's transition into a world-class metropolis. Every component of the constructed environment is covered. This plan aims to build 1.5 million square meters of new floor space over 50,000 new jobs, and $2.1 billion in annual revenue, 65,000 square meters of new and improved public spaces, 28 kilometers of enhanced walking and cycling routes, over 5,000 new homes with new leisure and recreational facilities to attract more families, and most importantly, to value the city center's heritage and cultural assets. Number 7. Hinkley Point C Hinkley Point C often known as HPC, is the UK's largest infrastructure project and will help the country's transition to a low-carbon energy future. Many social and economic benefits will result from the Hinkley Point C project, including a wide range of potentially life-changing employment possibilities. Of course, a project this huge and technically demanding necessitates the absolute best in nuclear, design, and engineering knowledge. HPC will be the world's most expensive power plant. However, it will have to overcome an unprecedented tangle of financial, political, and technical challenges to get there. The idea was first suggested about four decades ago, and it has made slow progress due to constant criticism from politicians, academics, economists along the road. Nonetheless, Project's heads imply that we remain committed to building a power station of the highest quality and being transparent about our progress. What we do here matters. The low-carbon electricity produced by Hinkley Point C will be critical in our fight against climate change in our journey to that net zero. Number 6. London Resort On the 1,245-acre site, Developers have proposed building a world-class entertainment and leisure destination to compete with the likes of Disneyland Paris and UK-based rivals. Take a look at the London Resort's base camp. In the northwestern region of the resort, there is an entire land dedicated to dinosaurs, adventure, and the world of paleontology. It will feature two roller coasters, a massive multimedia live stage performance, an innovative simulator attraction, immersive fine dining, and a play area where young aspiring paleontologists may climb, dig, and tunnel their way around the excavation site in search of ancient species. The resort will also feature six themed regions spread across the 535-acre property. The aerial photographs show some of the attractions that will be available if and when the park opens, 
including waterlogged rides, a carnival featuring a carousel and a helter-skelter, nearly a dozen roller coasters, and a plethora of castles. Number 5. Irish Sea Bridge UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced his support for a transport bridge connecting Northern Ireland and Scotland in 2018. It would likely be 20 miles long, falling 15 kilometers short of the world's longest bridge across water. The names Irish Sea Bridge and Celtic Crossing are only two of the many that have been proposed for this mammoth project. When Boris Johnson was foreign minister, he proposed a road and rail bridge connecting Port Patrick, Scotland, Larne, Northern Ireland, which was revived in 2018 by Scottish architect Alan Dunlop. Although the distance is not insurmountable and in of itself, the geological features of the country, environmental conditions, and water depth combine to make the project one of the most challenging and imaginative in the world. Critics, on the other hand, claim that the stretch of the sea separating Scotland and Northern Ireland, which has been selected as the optimum location for building an infrastructure link between the two islands, is inhospitable not simply due to the area's climactic and geological features, which lead the water to be extremely deep. What do you think about this plan? Do you think that it will be successful? Number 4. Hornsea The Hornsea Project 1 is an offshore wind farm off the coast of Yorkshire, England in the southern North Sea's Hornsea Zone. Orsted and Global Infrastructure Partners have partnered 50-50 on the project. Orsted also owns the Hornsea Project 2 and the Hornsea Project 3 offshore developments in the vicinity which have combined capacity of 3GW. The project, which is located in the Humber region, is part of the $8.7 billion investment to transform the region into a renewable energy powerhouse in the United Kingdom. The project is the world's largest offshore wind farm with a capacity of 1.2GW and the first to exceed 1GW. Furthermore, Hornsea Project 1 was built over a 407 km square region and is equipped with 174 Siemens 7MW wind turbines. The turbines are 190 meters tall with a rotor diameter of 178 meters and a blade tip height of 200 meters. They have a 22 meter clearance above mean high water springs. The development site was chosen because it offers good water depths between 20 and 40 meters, as well as appropriate wind and terrain characteristics. Number 3. Battersea The landmark Grade 2 listed building, known for its four chimneys and Art Deco style, is undergoing a dramatic renovation that will see it restored as a mixed-use development, creating over 25,000 employees. The Battersea Power Station will retain its unique historical elements while being given a new 21st century function in this complicated project, which will open the building and the riverside to the public for the first time. The power station will be the focal point of the overall redevelopment project with around 100 new retail, restaurant and beverage units, a 2000 capacity events place and a unique chimney lift experience. The power station will also include 253 new residential dwellings and around 500,000 square feet of additional office space which will be home to Apple's new London campus. Number 2. Heathrow Airport Expansion Heathrow is already the busiest airport in the UK, with almost 80 million passengers passing through each year. There are now four terminals and two runways at the airport. Rivers would be diverted, highways would be relocated, and the M25 would be rerouted through a tunnel beneath the new runway. The concept also includes improvements to current terminals 2 and 5, as well as plans to construct new parking lots. The redevelopment will be funded privately according to the Heathrow Airport. According to the Department of Transportation, the extension will benefit passengers, increase the economy, and create up to 77,000 local employment by 2030. According to Heathrow's chief executive, John Holland Kay, more than 40% of the UK's exports to non-EU nations currently pass via airport. He stated that a third runway was necessary to improve international commercial links. As a result, he came to the conclusion that, if we don't enlarge our lone hub airport, we will be flying through Paris to reach worldwide markets. Oh, and before I forget, 
Heathrow Airport has stated that it will implement legally binding environmental targets, including those related to noise, air quality, and carbon emissions. Last but not the least is number one, High Speed 2. HS2 is a new high-speed railway line in the works that will connect London to Birmingham, Manchester, and Leeds. Because it is roughly in the shape of the letter Y, the route is also known as the Y Network. The UK. The project will establish crucial transportation links between cities and regions throughout the United Kingdom. The HS2 network will shorten travel times between some of the country's most populous cities while also generating thousands of jobs. Furthermore, the UK government has cleared the start of the project work in April 2020, allowing companies to begin building in compliance with COVID-19 safety requirements. The railway line was initially scheduled to open to passengers in 2026, but it will now be commissioned between 2028 and 2031. If you want more videos like this one, you can always check out our other videos by visiting our channel. As always, this is the Lux Luxury Channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.